your movie, Tabenga. Can you please tell us a little bit about it? And oh, the Benga is the true story of an African who was taken from the continent of Africa, brought to the USA and put in the Bronx Zoo with primates, with monkeys and baboons, as an experiment to test how close Africans are to monkeys and apes, basically. That's the story. The good thing about documentaries that come to this festival or that are produced by this festival or encouraged by this festival, basically, is that these are documentaries about the African experience. And it's the Africans now telling their own story. For a long time, the last five, six hundred years, other people have told our story. Other people have defined us. And now we're actually taking the initiative to tell our own story to the world, not the world to tell us about who we are. The Arab Foundation basically would be, is brilliantly made up of people from different parts of the world. People who would go out and advocate for Arab in their different constituencies, go out and fundraise for Arab, go out and essentially be ambassadors for Arab in such a way that I think from here on you'd be able to see a very strong universal presence of Arab. And that's very, because you see, Africa is not just a continent. There are a lot of Africans, people born of African descent in the United States, in Europe, in South America, in the Caribbean, in Canada, uh, in the Pacific Islands. Those people should be aware of IREP as well. IREP ought to be a major phenomenon right now. IREP um, has created a wave. IREP is a major movement in the area of documentary filmmaking because, as you know, the major industry here is Nollywood. And Nollywood is not documentary. So what IREP is doing right now is to turn people's minds to the intellectual part of filmmaking, which would go on forever and ever.